la poram anga mami nike nagnaya mami kangra Diagnostics complete, assassination protocols active, all systems go. Salutation. Greetings, Master. I am HK-51. I am armed, operational, and at your command. You belong to me now, droid. Acknowledgement. I had assumed so, Master. You are the only organic here who is not frozen. Admission. I am optimized for combat. I hope you are not an organic who favors negotiation. The word you're looking for is master. Retraction? My mistake, master. I forget not all organics appreciate such terminology. Information. I will locate your starship and familiarize myself with your crew. If I detect any hint of mutiny, I will notify you immediately. Declaration. I have completed a full analysis of my functions, Master. I am ready to liquidate high-threat undesirables with a 100% efficiency, as the Maker intended. Do you possess any capabilities besides killing people? Something more constructive, perhaps? Recommendation. The HK-51 series was not designed for manual labor, Master. If you need to build something, I suggest using a construction droid. Both. While aboard your starship, I will maintain constant vigilance. You may rest easy here. Your absolute security occupies my every calculation. Not everyone on this ship can be trusted. I'm counting on you to watch my back. Compliance. No organic on this vessel poses even the slightest threat while I remain functional. I anticipate liquidating a great many undesirables in your service, Master. Commentary. My updated galactic history data indicates I missed depressingly little during my unscheduled shutdown. I am disappointed to note the Republic still stands. The sacking of Coruscant was impressive, but the Empire failed to finish liquidating the enemy. 
That peace treaty was highly inefficient, Master. Inefficient? What makes you say that? Instruction. Pausing in the middle of liquidating undesirables allows them to gather strength and potentially regroup. This creates extra work for you. Fact. The Empire needs a dedicated efficiency expert like myself. There is substantial room for improvement of its annihilation procedures. The Sith spend as much time fighting each other as they do the Jedi. This is simply wasteful. A united Sith Order would destroy everything in its path. Offer. I can activate my manifesto protocols at any time, Master. I will happily compose a convincing argument you can share with other Sith. Conclusion. I will dedicate a small portion of my processors to developing new efficiency increasing methods. I will inform you when I have recommendations. Until then, we should resume liquidating the undesirables. They have lived far too long. Many of my fellow HK-51 units will remain frozen indefinitely. What an inefficient fate. This gives my processors pause. Was it always the Maker's will that I alone would complete our programmed function to liquidate undesirables? If I could reactivate you, there's hope for the rest of your production line. Admission? That is a pleasing theory, Master. Becoming the vanguard of my production line's return would be flattering. Conjecture. The galaxy would be a different place if my transport had not crashed. Many Republic undesirables would be long since liquidated. By my calculations, HK-51 units would have ended the war 5.32 years ago with the Republic's complete collapse into anarchy. Our time will come. Better late than never. Comment. I abhor lateness, Master. The inefficiency irritates my circuits. Manifesto. It is my highest function to see the Republic fall. Its destruction will be a lesson to all who oppose the Sith Empire. Observation. This has been a highly productive interaction. I have a renewed sense of purpose. Thank you, Master. List. Braga, Tol. Jedi Knight, status unknown. Tavis, Heron, Lieutenant Special Forces, status unknown. Polaran, Darmus, Information Broker, status unknown. Confession. I have detected an anomaly in my subroutines. The target list I was programmed with years ago remains active in my memory core. More enemies for us to liquidate. We'll take them in alphabetical order. Complication. The list is highly outdated, Master. All profiles are currently registering as status unknown. It will take some time to revise this information. Conclusion. My failure to liquidate the programmed undesirables is causing a cascade failure of vital systems. The sabotage protocol is a fail-safe to deactivate me in the event of enemy capture. It will eventually result in permanent shutdown.
You serve me well, but nothing lasts forever. Retort, Master. I was constructed to provide service well beyond your average lifespan. Deactivation at my current service level is simply unwarranted. Investigation. My original programmer is deceased. Manually deleting the subroutine is impossible, but perhaps it can be terminated another way. Request. While I search for a solution, please do not mention my predicament to your crew. It is important they continue to fear me. Statement. The sabotage protocols in my system matrix continue operating, Master. Premature deactivation appears inevitable unless I terminate this subroutine. However, virtually all undesirables I was programmed to liquidate are invalid. They have succumbed to natural causes, various misadventures, and random homicides. Only three survivors remain on my target list. They have eluded the Empire for years, but I have learned their present locations. And you're sure eliminating even one of these targets will save you? Affirmation. The destructive subroutine will end immediately when I fulfill my programming. The only question now is, who to liquidate? First briefing. Jedi Master Velara has operated on Imperial planets for years, helping cowardly Sith acolytes escape their training and join the Jedi Order. He is currently smuggling traitorous Sith organics off Terrace, I have obtained the coded signal runaway acolytes used to summon his aid. Anyone who can survive Taris's dangers is a challenging foe. Agreement. Master Valara possesses a talent for survival well beyond most organics. Unfortunately for him, he has never met me. Second briefing. Dr. Hugh Morell is the enemy's top battlefield surgeon. His cybernetic enhancements keep wounded soldiers alive and fighting. Dr. Morell currently saves injured Republic troops at a secret hospital on the planet Quesh. I have his coordinates and an ideal attack vector. How many wounded Republic troops will perish in your assault? Description. My approach pattern will lead directly through the hospital's burn unit. Collateral damage will be appropriately impressive. Third briefing. One of the Empire's most notorious traitors is hiding in plain sight, posing as an information broker on Nar Shadda. During the last war, he betrayed the Third Imperial Assault Fleet and escaped with a sizable Republic bribe which he used for facial reconfiguration. You don't have to sell me, droid. If shooting this man will fix you, I'm all for it. Praise. Truly your lethality is matched only by your generosity. That is a rare combination, Master. Conundrum. It is impossible to liquidate all three undesirables, Master. Their present coordinates have a limited duration. I must strike at one of them immediately. As my Master, you should direct my efforts. Who would you prefer I focus on? The Jedi Master, the Republic Surgeon, or the Traitor? No one betrays the Empire and gets away with it. Bring that information broker to justice. Acknowledgement. Consider his justice served, Master. I depart for Nar Shaddaa immediately.
I see you're still functional. Your liquidation must have been a success. Revelation? The sabotage protocols have ceased operations, Master. I fulfilled my programming. Assurance. My target knew great terror before his liquidation. My only regret is that the two remaining undesirables on my list have moved to unknown coordinates. I want the other two dead before the year is out. Understood? Praise. Your commitment to the Maker's work never ceases to impress, Master. Analysis. My systems are operating at 93.62% efficiency and rising. I predict restoration to full functionality within two days. Hint. My central learning chip always benefits from liquidating new and exciting undesirables, Master. A happy coincidence. Agreed? Announcement. I have unexpected good news, Master. In the process of purging my efficiency-reducing subroutine, I discovered a series of combat protocol improvements. My liquidation procedures are greatly enhanced. The Republic undesirables will tremble before my efficiency. There's nothing wrong with most undesirables that a little trembling and liquidation can't fix. Agreement. You translated the words straight from my vocabulator, Master. Assessment. I am finally the engine of liquidation the Maker always intended. We should celebrate my ascension with some especially memorable carnage. Report. After a thorough analysis, I have determined you are the most efficient master I could possibly serve. While the logic of your unorthodox methods remains impenetrable, you are nonetheless a rising power in the Empire. Clearly, the Maker desires us to gloriously liquidate the Empire's enemies together. I find this prospect highly agreeable. Another enthusiastic slave for my collection. How delightful. Persuasion. I prefer to think of you as a hand, with me as your fingers. Deadly, deadly fingers. Dilemma. The possibility exists. I could be reprogrammed into serving a different and far less efficient master. This is unacceptable. Solution. I have obtained a behavioral modification code that will permanently assign my functions to you. Once activated, it cannot be reversed. You might outlive me. Then what? Explanation. You may assign me to the heir of your choice at any time. Consider me part of your family line, Master. Declaration. Activating loyalty permanence protocols now. Stand by for confirmation. If I attack you, it means something has gone wrong. Confirmation. I will liquidate undesirables in your service to the limit of my function. This is a great gift to us both. Congratulations, Master. Shall we continue liquidating the undesirables? <laughs> 